one dollar, okay, um, we wouldn't have the the super PACs would not have the uh, control that they have on both sides of the coin. Why do they just? Why? I mean, I don't know why they became legal. I don't say. I mean, I don't understand it because supposedly the politicians say we have nothing to do with them, you know, and they can say just about anything they want. You know, they they do that. Na- they put up some really nasty ads, and they shouldn't. You know, they're just not. There's no. They don't serve a purpose except to cause trouble. Speaking about nasty ads, I have to say, for those people out there who are fans of The Good Wife on Sunday night, uh, Diane Florick, who was running for uh, state's attorney against. Edward Hyde Pierce, who was also running for the same job, uh, they wanted to do away with negative ads, okay, because they felt that it was the meaning to both of them. So what happens? The super PACs, because the super PACs are, don't have to answer to anybody. The super PACs ran a couple of, uh, you know, nasty ads about, one, about each one, you know, and... Uh, you know, the, this was after the the uh, two candidates said they weren't going to run negative ads about each other because the super PACs don't have to answer to anybody. Yeah. Get rid of super PACs. Get rid of the lobbyists. Put term limits on all the politicians in the Congress, Senate. Get rid of their uh, exorbitant benefit packages. You know, I said this to you last week. Congressional seats are two years. I say make them each three years. For two years, these people can govern, and then they spend their final year fundraising. Okay? Limit them to two terms, which would be six years. Okay, if they want to then run for the Senate as a step up, at least it's a change. And as far as the Senate is concerned, you could leave them at six years. But have them run for two terms, for a total of 12 years. At least you know that every six to 12 years or so, there are going to be many new people coming into Congress with fresh new ideas. Blood, new ideas, new, absolutely. That's exactly right. Yeah. You know, but we, you know, we can talk about it all we want. Unfortunately, we are nothing. We are just peons. Just that's like right. everybody else. Yeah, we get peed on a lot, don't we? No, I said peons, not peon. I thought you said peed on. I know what because you that happens too. Yeah, that happens. You know, we're getting. You know, we're just we're nothing. All you know, all of us. You know, you know, we supposedly elect the Congress, but the Congress doesn't represent us. I don't think because if they represented us again, they wouldn't be having all these extra benefits that only they get. It's just not fair, and they, they should be, you know, for the people. They're not for the people. They're for themselves. That's why they stay in these jobs forever. They don't do anything. And every law they pass, they always throw something else in there that doesn't, it's not part of the law. You know, they add all these... Yeah, they're, uh, they're always putting in a clause. You know, all this pork they add That's in right. There. You know, and it should... No, they said they're going to stop the pork. Nobody's stopping the pork. Everybody talks. They all talk, but they don't do anything, and they wouldn't do anything that would jeopardize a penny of what they earn. I mean, they're all overpaid as far as I'm concerned. I think... I think political, I'll take a step further, I think political positions should be voluntary. Then maybe we'll get some people who really uh, do want to be politicians. Well, but then you'd have to limit their power, you know, because uh, you're not going to give, uh, 
a person simply because they volunteer. No, no, be elected. Still be elected. But be elected, but not get, you know, but not get paid. You volunteer. Well, I, you know, I, I do believe originally in the past that when uh, Congress was formulated, I don't think congressmen or senators got paid. You know, they, was, they were farmers for the most part. You know, uh, they spent a certain amount of time first in Philadelphia because that's where the capital was and in Washington, D.C., and uh, they weren't paid for it. And they did the people's business. That's what it was. Yeah. You know, no reason why it can't be done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't know if Felix wants to play one more song. Before one more we, song. Before we uh, sign off. Uh, it was our pleasure being with you uh, for... Uh, past hour or so. Yeah. Um, we hope that some of the things we said will ring a bell and we can expect you to call maybe on Friday when we have the rebellious rev in the dock. Because even though that's our religious day usually for uh, discussion, you know, we'll always talk about anything that our listeners uh, have on their minds. So... Uh, I turn it over to you, Felix, and I will say uh, good night, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you in a few short days, and uh, say a prayer for Meredith. I would absolutely please, and I'd like to play this song. It's, uh, it's called God Bless America Again. Enjoy it, and I'll say good night. Tex Schrader. to be.